Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well. So I just wanted to come on here and share my story, like where I've been and how come I haven't been posting a lot. Um, I'll tell you that um, the season that we are in right now and the summertime, um, my spiritual journey really, um, you know, went through a, like a lot in a good way. And then there was also a couple um, downturns that I had. So I'm going to share that with you because I've been spending a lot of quiet time alone with God. And, um, you know, I've been on this journey and um, it's been a while. Like, honestly, like I told you guys from the beginning, um, God told me to start doing prophetic words and talking about um, my experiences since 2020. And... I feel like I should have been more obedient and posting more. It's just, you know, um, there's no excuse. Like, I know that life gets busy with work and family, but I, I want to be on here. I want to be posting because I feel like um, this is going to help people because I have so much to say. And um, I've been, I feel like I've been seeing so many posts too. Like there's been a group of people that have been just chosen to be on YouTube and to post. And um, I was one of them and I should be posting more. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. Um, okay, so first off, um, I was told, I did the, I did the Daniel fast. Um, that was, that started on the 21st of July. So it was weird because I had a dream. Um, I think it was on the 20th. Yeah, I still remember this. So in my dream, um, it was the meat. The meat in my dream wasn't good. And there was some symbols in there. Um, that I should, like, telling me that I need to go on a cleanse, like, spiritually. So when I looked up my dream, the biblical meaning, it said that I needed a cleanse. So God told me, like, to do the Daniel fast. So I'm going to tell you, like, I did this for seven days. Like, it was um, no meat. It was just uh, fruits and vegetables. And um, I did have, like, yogurts because... Um, because sometimes, like, I also work out and I prayed on that and, you know, God was okay with me having that. But when I did do the fast, like, I'm going to tell you, like, when you're doing these things, it's not going to be perfect. Um, I think it was, like, the fourth day. A friend of mine asked if we could go down to the river and I did. And when I was there, I felt like I was being distracted because I should have been in prayer and God revealed that to me and so I had to repent and um, apologize because I wasn't um, supposed to be doing anything else but that and um, you know I did go through times when um, I almost gave in and then it reminded me of um, Jesus when he was on the mountain and he was being tempted and he didn't give in to that I'll tell you is that um my family, they made nachos, and I love nachos, and it was like fully loaded, and it had meat and everything, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what if I just, what if I just have a little bit, and then the other part of me is like, it's okay if you have a little bit, like God will forgive you, and I'm like, no, 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 I need to be obedient, I'm not doing this right now, and um, I didn't, and I felt so much better that I didn't give in, and I just kept getting that vision of Christ when he was on the hill and he was, um, you know, feeling that way or getting tempted. And then after um, I felt cleansed, I felt better, but, you know, whenever I do these things, I still feel like I needed to do more. Like, I never have an ego about anything. Like, I feel like, did I do it right? Did I cleanse right? Am I being obedient? Because when you're a true Christian and your heart is pure and you're following God's footsteps, you're always going to have that doubt because you don't have the um, pride in you because pride is not good or you're not going to be proud. You know, you're always going to wonder, did you do it right? So I'm just going to fix my camera because the lighting in here, 
there. I'm just gonna open that a little bit. It keeps like blinking. Um, okay, so then I am going to share my next journey. This started, um, was it three weeks? Yeah, I, I, actually, I want to say it a month ago. So I'm going to tell you what happened to me a month ago is, um, okay, so I had a dream. And I was going to post that day about my dream, but I didn't. So in my dream, I don't know why my camera keeps doing this. Sorry. Just wait. Let me see if that helps. Okay. So in my dream, um, it was like all over the place. Like I was um, seeing um, people like from my past and people that... Um, you know, that I didn't see for a long time, but then one thing stood out to me, and, um, that was, sorry, I'm gonna try one more thing, this is, okay, let me see if this works, okay, I hope this works, okay, sorry, okay, so in my dream, um, there was jelly beans, and, um, the jelly beans ended up, um, going into this cup, and the cup was dirty, previously dirty, and the cup previously had drugs in the cup. Like, it was, um, I don't know, there was just, it was contaminated with drugs. And I did not, like, see the drugs in there, but I just knew they were. And then the jelly beans that were inside the cup, they were white. And, um, I started eating the white jelly beans, and then the other part of me like in my dream is like, Kat, why are you eating um, the jelly beans? Like they're contaminated. There was drugs in there, but the other side of me didn't care. I'm like, no, it's okay. I can eat them. So when I woke up from the dream, I wasn't going to look it up. Like it took me a couple hours. I'm like, it probably doesn't mean anything. So I ended up looking it up. I took some notes here so I didn't forget anything. Like I took notes that day. Um, you can actually look this up online too. There's actually a whole thing about jelly beans in Christianity. Um, I know that, you know, they're candy. They don't correlate with anything, but it's still a bean. And the bean has a symbol in the Bible. Um, like it's very important, right? So um, the jelly bean, they had different colors. Like the yellow meant something, the, the white there was black, there was red. So I had a dream about the white and the white jelly beans um, symbolized Christ and Christ um, forgives us for our sins. And they're no longer, um, you know, once he forgives us for our sins, that's it. We're like, we're clean, we're purified. So I put everything together. So when I was eating the jelly beans, um, even though they were contaminated with that drug, because the white jelly bean represents Christ, um, I was eating them and I was okay with that because, you know, the sins were forgiven. I've never tried any drugs in my life. Um, it doesn't matter about that because all sins are looked at the same anyways, whether it's um, drugs or lying or stealing. But the point is, is that the white jelly bean represent Christ and how he forgives us for our sins and how... I didn't have a fear of eating those jelly beans in the contaminated cup because, um, you know, they represented Christ and it was pure and it was clean. So I thought that was really amazing. Like, um, that was, that gave me chills for like maybe two or three days. So, um, that same morning, because I watch um, Christian YouTubers as well and people's prophetic words will just pop up. Um, and I know it's from God, like it'll just come in my algorithm and some of them I get, some of them I don't, but I know they're meant for me. So I was about to, um, close everything. And then I seen on my notification, this lady and I clicked on it. Something was just, God was telling me click on it. So I clicked on it and she said, you're going on a seven day fast. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I just did a seven day fast. I'm like, dear God. Please, because I was actually, during that time on that day, I was actually coming down with something. Um, I did have like a little um, bug for about that whole time that I was um, 
doing that cleanse for the seven days, I came down with something. So I'm like, God, like I need to take my vitamins and I need to have um, soup and everything. But I'm like, you know what, I'll still do it. So I listened to her video and it was like 15 minutes and it was a different um, cleanse. She said, you're going on a seven day cleanse. Um, no music, no social media, no movies, no distractions, no nothing. And you know, she's like, you just have to forgive. So you guys, like, I really have to share this with you because I know this is going to inspire somebody. And today God told me you're going to share this. So, um, so I'm like, okay, fine. Um, I don't watch TV to begin with. I don't watch sports. I don't watch the news I don't watch movies like I got away from that years ago um because it just none of that sits right with my spirit I will watch some youtubers here and there but most of my time I'm just very very productive um anyways because I just like to keep busy um but I had a hard time with the music because when I go on my jogs I have my favorite songs, so I did have trouble with the music thing. Um, Facebook and Instagram and all of that, um, I don't really go on that much anyways. Um, so I did have a hard time because I did cut out, I cut off like, um, you know, socializing and emails and that was also hard, like communications. Um, I did have some communications here and there for if it was important. Um, okay, what else? Okay, so I'm going to tell you. So the first day, um, it was cutting off everything. And plus I was coming down with something. It was okay. But the weirdest thing happened to me on the, set, on the second day. And it was on a Sunday. So I woke up. And I never get this. Like, I just... God started showing me... Um, scenarios in my life of things I had to forgive and these are things that I never ever ever think of um these are like memories that I wouldn't have thought of and I'm like oh yeah like I have to forgive this person and this person this went on for like an hour and I was just sitting with God and he's just um showing me like what about this and you still felt like this like you gotta forgive this I'm like, wow, and this just kept happening. It was one after another. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, wow. And I just felt amazing after. I'm like, wow, thank you, God. And then um, on the third day, it was just neutral. And then, um, you know, I still wasn't feeling myself. And I was going through some stuff, but I kept praying. I, um, you know, tried to stay strong. Um... You know, I kept asking God to give me strength. You know, it's not perfect. Like, when you go on these things, you're going to have hard times. And you always have to have the confidence, um, you know, within. Like, sometimes you will feel like God is with you. You know, you feel Him in the Spirit. And then there's other times when you will actually think that you're not, but He is with you. It's just stuff that you're going through or it can be like frequencies around you from like interference with cell phone towers or whatever that will like block that but he's still with you you just have to have faith and just keep having gratitude because gratitude um he really loves when you are thankful and he'll appear to you more when you're thankful um but if you're sad and you're crying and you're complaining sometimes it's harder because um, you feel like you're more distant because of the vibration that God works on. Um, you know, he hears your cries, but he wants you to have gratitude. And the Bible's just all about gratitude and giving thanks. So um, on the fourth day, I just said, God, I don't feel like I'm doing this right like can you help me and i was just feeling so distant and it was getting harder and then um he sh and then when i was in the kitchen and i was you know um giving thanks and being thankful i just started feeling a rush of the holy spirit like whoa like i just wanted to like jump up and down and give thanks and praise 
and I'm like wow like that was amazing that was an amazing rush and so um by the the last day I'm going to tell you something so God showed me one more scenario that I had to forgive and um there was actually people that I was seeing like popping in and out like of my life like I would see them in stores or around like that I had to forgive from a long time ago like even from my childhood and um I did and I renounced it and I feel like I st I had like a spirit forgiven like a spirit um not that I needed to forgive that was still on me so while I was driving in the car um I said a really strong prayer this was on the last day of my um my spiritual fast and you know what happened an hour later i don't know if this correlates with everything but i feel like it did um i was driving and i started getting this uneasy feeling like you have to be careful maybe you should go back home i'm like nope i'm protected by god i'm protected so then um as i'm driving i missed one of the side streets that i was supposed to go down so i went down another side street and the reason why I had to go down that side street, I'm going to tell you in a minute, is because he told me to stay off the busy streets. So when I was driving down the other side street, the car started like making a really weird noise and started like jerking. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. So I thought I had it on neutral. So I stopped, I put it on park. And then the street that I missed, I had to turn down that street and I couldn't turn. The steering wheel got stuck. And it was so hard to turn the car. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what's happening? So then I turned the car off again, put it in um, drive. And if I would have went down the busy street, and sometimes I like, when there's cars coming, I will just think I can go and turn fast. So if I would have went down the busy street and the light is green, I probably would have tried to turn and I wouldn't have been able to turn and it wouldn't have been good. But God guided me to go down the um, the side streets because I was in rush hour. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So then I tried to turn down another side street to get to this um, gas station so I could pull over. And I had, I it took me five minutes to turn like, and I was sweating and it was so hot out. And the woman behind me was getting so impatient. I'm like, if they're if I'm driving and someone's going so slow in front of me again, I'm I'm not gonna get mad because after what I went through. So I went and parked behind the gas station and it was not in the safest neighborhood. It was like downtown and <clears throat> there was it was not around like a good environment. But I'm like, I'm not going to be fearful. So I'm like, let me try to fix this. So it took me 10 minutes to park. Um, it just wasn't working out. Um, we had to call a um, tow truck. And then long story short, it ended up that the um, fuse blew for the steering wheel. So then I'm like, did this happen because the prayer uh, the prayer I said and maybe it happened because it was smoking a little bit like as I was turning. So I'm like, maybe this is just another attack. I don't know, but that was on the last day. Um, but you know, I still like gave thanks and praise because I was still guided and um, I still had my faith. So that was my the summer that I had of my um, fasting um, spiritually and um, with the food wise. Um, I do in the future want to do a full fast with just water. I don't think I'm ready for that yet and God knows I'm not ready for that yet because um, you know I've since 2020 I have given up so much stuff like I'm literally always doing intermediate fasting anyways so maybe i just don't need to do that yet because i don't eat any processed foods i don't um eat um i don't drink pop i don't eat fast food nothing like maybe every two months so we'll see what i had to do the no meat cleanse and then this one was a spiritual cleanse and you know i'll, I'll be honest with you i haven't really listened to music and that ended 
um wait saturday sunday monday tuesday it's been four days now um i have been responding to my emails once again and watching my videos like that i normally watch on um, youtube so yeah i just wanted to share that with you like whenever you are going through anything and you feel like you're alone or god's not listening to your prayers um he is listening to your prayers i promise you and you know what i know that i'm gonna have a big testimony coming i feel it i can't share it with you yet but something big is coming for me and you know i'm gonna share my whole journey with you guys um please share this video please like this um i want to grow this youtube i want to be on here more because i feel like um some other stuff that i have been through i'm going to be sharing on here but i need a larger following so i also pray to god right now that my following becomes larger so that i can share my testimony and touch people in ways that they need to be spiritually and in their heart because of um stuff that i have went through i know that i can help somebody and um I want to thank you so much for watching and if this video helped you in any way, um, God bless you and dear Lord, I just pray that this video can just move in somebody's life and if this video needs to reach somebody um, spiritually, let it move to them, let it be shared, let the algorithm move in Jesus name we pray. So thank you so much and I also want to say any negativity that I get on this video, I'm praying for you and negative messages will be deleted because um, if you do post something negative, that means you're not hearing from God's, God's like it's not for you yet and it's not on um, God's timing. You're just um, kind of being negative or a troll towards it and um, I just wanted to put that out there. So thank you so much and God bless you. Bye-bye.